Well, welcome back, my friends, all to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Outdoors, an American-made custom kukri by the man himself, the myth, the legend, Jed Hornbeat, one of the best dudes on this planet. Now, Mr. Billy and Miss Courtney from Apex Alchemy sent this to me to check out. It is a bow tie handmade kukri. Now, for all of you who want to come and tell me about a, a real kukri and you got one from Nepal, man, I got four or five of them. That ain't got a damn thing to do with this video. I love Nepal. I love the Nepalese. I love the kukri. Gurkhas, I think the world of. None of that's got to do with this right here. Full custom leather sheath. There's nobody, nobody better at both. And when I say that, I'm talking about custom leather sheath and custom knife. Then my boy, Jed, by God, Hornbeak. Great dude. I really love that dude. He's an awesome guy. Can't wait to see him and Courtney and Billy at Blade Show and all the rest of you who'll be there. Let's just jump in this, some bitch. It is the Jed Hornbeak Kukri. It is in 3V with my card of handle skills. We're going to talk all about that handle. Now you're going to have to listen fast. We ain't got much time. The blade thickness is a quarter inch. The overall length is 14 inches. The blade length is eight and three quarters. The cutting edge is eight inches. The widest part of the blade is two inches. The handle length is five inches with an inner grip of four and a quarter. The handle thickness is three quarter inch. Now, the weight on this blade is one pound, six ounces. Every single time I do a kukri, people that don't watch the video, and you'll see it in the comment, man, that's a great chopper, great. Yeah, it is. But it's one of the most versatile blades ever, ever, ever thought of. It is an ancient blade. Here's the deal. Don't believe it's versatile. It's a hell of a bushcraft blade. Go check out Blackie Thomas. He's got a whole series on the damn things. They work. Now, 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 now. Jed is as much an artist as he is knife maker. He makes some tough, solid pieces. And let me address this right now. He is a custom maker out of Tennessee. I will put a link to his website if YouTube will let me. Kirk told me not to chop it again because I missed and it was embarrassing. That particular scene there. If they don't, I'll put the words, Jed Hornbeak Knives. If you type that into Google, it'll take you there, guys. He has made the Choir Boys Camp Knife, the Choir Boys Camp Knife Sheep's Foot. He's got a couple of scabber stabbers over there. For all of you who love daggers, war daggers, not a gladius, that's what it is. Now, here's the thing. Let's talk about this. I adore Kukri's Why? Because I love history. Now, I said that Gurkhas didn't have a part in this, but they do. I grew up with a grandfather that served in World War II. He served in North Africa and in Italy. He is the first person to tell me about the Gurkhas and their kukris. All right. He was nothing but impressed. And he was a good old boy from Mississippi that grew up during the Depression that could neither read nor write. But, well, he could sign his name. But he ran his own business. And some of the people that he admired the most, and I'm telling you this from the bottom of my heart, were the Gurkhas. So I grew up with a love and a respect for the Gurkhas and what they could do with this knife. And they can do anything under the sun with it, son. It can stab. It can slice. It can chop. It can cut. It can kill. Whatever you need it to do, it can do. Everybody knows of the story of the lone Gurkha on the train after he had been on his way home. He had been released from duty, he had done his tour, when the train was attacked by bandits. And he was going to mind his own business. He was going to let it be until they put their hands on a 14-year-old girl. He pulled out his kukri that he had been gifted, and he went absolutely to work. Don't believe it? Read it. It's a documented case. A Gurkha with a kukri is a devastating human being. But this kukri, let's talk about it. 
It weighs one pound, six ounces. It is an eight inch blade, but listen to me, that curve makes all the difference in the world, right? It gives you extra space. It gives you extra chopping power. The one thing I did not do, and I wished I would have, was use it as a draw knife because these are great draw knives or planing knives. Here you see Kirk. Now, I sped up the chopping just so I could get it all in in under 15 minutes. I love when Kirk joins me on these videos. You get two different body styles. You get two different techniques. Now, Kirk is ambidextrous with his chopping. He's a little bit older than I am, but you can see that the man uses the blade every day. I come out of my shoe swing and I bring power, but with a kukri now, I do alter my swing a little bit. A kukri is more of a pop chop. That's what it's made for. And you see Kirk going to work with it right here. There's no better way to demonstrate or show a knife than just to demonstrate and show a knife, right? I wasn't being smart up front about the chopping. It, it is a phenomenal chopper. But please, and I'm begging you, don't miss the boat on the utility. Now, the overall build is spectacular. The fit and finish was 10 out of 10. Like I said, Billy and Courtney from Apex Alchemy, if you're not following them, why the hell not? There's a link to them in the description. Click it, hit like, subscribe, do all that stuff. They're awesome people. This is a bow tie handle scales. Never in my life have I used it. You say, Scab, what do you think? But I don't know. Kirk absolutely adored it. And at the end, I'm going to be a little quiet so you can get his thoughts on it or at the end of this clip. I love it because I love Jed's work. I'm getting used to it. I've found that at a couple times, it really helped me out. That, that, that circular piece in the middle, I could adjust to pretty well. Its pommel is flared at the bottom, so I could drop a couple fingers off and get some great pop chops in. Now, Kirk absolutely loved it. I do too, but I want more time with it. So I'm going to sharpen it up after all this, which it held an edge incredibly well. But I'm going to sharpen it up. I'm going to take it with me to Blackie's. There will be no cameras, none of that. And I'm just going to use it that entire weekend. See what I think. So far, man, I love it. But it's a handle style I've never used before. So there's no way that I can just sit here and give you my full thoughts after a couple hours of use. I want to get some good time in it, good days in it, and we'll go from there. What do you think about it? Love it. You love the handle? Love it. This Show thing is awesome. Flip it upside down. Nice. All right, guys, I just wanted to be quiet right there because I had asked Kurt if he liked it, and I don't know if you heard what he said, but he said, man, I absolutely love it. Here we're doing the Donnie B all day drop test, the Donnie B all day throw it at the stump test, etc. Listen, if you're not following Donnie, follow Donnie. Donnie is the reason I heard about Jed. He had had a, uh, he and Jed had collabed on a Gladius slash Kukri. It is wicked looking. Um, if, if you think about it after this video, just type in Donnie B all day. Uh, Jed Hornbeak, and you'll see what they've come up with. It is absolutely sick. Joe, JS Bladecraft, huge Hornbeak fan, has a badass Tonto with Jed. Jed can make just about anything. And the thing that I love about Jed the most is this. He makes a bunch of knives, and he sells them. You either want them or you don't. He lets his art flow through. I love that. I respect that. You know, and I'm not knocking anybody else because there's a ton of custom makers, man, that I love. But Jed just said, hey, I'm going to make the knives I want to make. If you want them, great. If you don't, great. Why does that matter? It means it's, he's putting his whole heart, his whole passion, his whole soul in. And I'm not saying anybody else does. We get too lost in that. But I'm telling you, when a man can freely create, he comes up with some amazing pieces this piece right here, guys, is phenomenal. It is an absolute workhorse. It is built for work, and you're seeing it there. Again, I opened stabbing because it, it stabs over its weight. I was really impressed with that. We've cut everything under the sun. Yes, we've done a little more chopping, but you will see this blade in shorts and things like that more and more as we go. The versatility of it 
is unmatched. I, I truly believe that. And it doesn't, you know, people always want to compare. Oh, well, an American boy. Yep, yeah, that's great. Love them. Got nothing to do with what we're talking about here. If you're new here, and I'm not explaining myself, I'm just telling you how we do shit. When I have a blade on a on a video, we don't compare. We don't talk about other brands. Don't do any of that. That's why I lock in and I focus like this is the only knife on the planet. I want to give it my full attention. It's also why, guys, you don't see a hundred different companies on here. I show a bunch. I counted the other day, probably 20 to 25. I want to lock in and to focus on a few, right? That'll change as time goes on. It'll change as we go. Jed's one of those guys I want to focus on. He is a phenomenal guy. If you've been around at all, you know the whole story. The man's made a comeback. He's got four children. He's an awesome, awesome dad, awesome father. I, I'm not sure if he got, if he's married again. I hope so. She was a sweetheart, but he's just a great dude. Now, right here, we're going to chop this two different ways. We're going to chop it vertically and horizontally. And about halfway through, I remember that I forgot my safety glasses, so we're going to take a break and grab them. But you can see my fat ass can swing it quick. I, sometimes we go for power, right? A lot of times when we're chopping on something like this, we want to get some flat shots in. We want to check the edge. We want to do all that. We want to make sure the build holds up. None of this chopping, none of it, none of the batoning showed a hot spot for me. Not yet. I want to get more time in, but as it goes right now, I'm impressed with the overall design. Thank you, Scab. He said, wait a minute. While we're waiting on old Scab to fire back up, guys, there was a time in this country where 22 vets a day took their own lives. Now, stats are everywhere, right? The real number's between 15 to 29. That's why on this channel, we focus on the number zero. Anything over zero is simply unacceptable. Bets, we love you. Man, you have a place here. I back the blue, something I believe in. It's, I also believe in not shoving stuff down anybody's throat. I was asked about a particular situation the other day, and guys, listen, I don't do politics, religion, or her. These are just my three causes, and I believe in them, and I have my reasons. We'd be here all day if I had to explain it every video. Just know that I'm not going to argue with you, and I respect your opinion on it. Finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. Well, let's finish chopping this thing and take it on to the house. Here's what I'm going to do. Tonight, after work, when I get home, I'll go walk straight in the door. I'll cut some paper so we can see the final edge. I'll link that short with this video. In the meantime, guys, I hope y'all have a phenomenal day. I love you much. Please don't ever think I don't. I'm Scab. You're not. I'm gone, son. Let's watch old Scabber finish this up, and we'll see y'all tomorrow.